What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Turbo Miata video. Today's video is part two. We're going to be installing the AEM Wideband O2 sensor so that we can see how rich and lean our car is and we can start tuning with it. So uh, as you saw in the last video, I got the Speedy EFI standalone in there, got the bass tune loaded up, had some issues. And now it's running on a bass tune, but I have no idea how rich or lean or anything. So this is the next step. Let's get with it. Alrighty, so step one, we're gonna open the box and see what's in it. We got our black face AFR gauge right there. We got a white face and a silver bezel in case you wanna go that route in your interior. A couple of harnesses. Looks like a mount of some sort. Ooh, looks like a Weldon O2 bung. Our wideband sensor itself. Couple of nuts for these threaded posts on the back of the gauge. And our instruction manual. So I'm gonna start reading through this. I've watched a couple videos and uh, we'll decide what we're gonna do next. All right, what I'm gonna do Probably not the greatest thing. I'm gonna clip the O2 sensor wire. Um, Cause I'm gonna need to tap into it anyway. And then I'm gonna slide the box end over and use another thread. Uh, I know you guys can't see anything, but you're not alone. I really can't see anything either. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna pull the center console out real quick because I'm going to be routing my wires up through the inner shift boot. Um, I saw it and I like it, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll talk to you guys through it online. So I got my tombstone pulled off and somebody made a little delete plate just out of plastic uh, for a doubled in radio to get rid of, I guess, the little tray. Um, so I just traced out the hole in the box where the AEM sat and I'm going to take the soldering iron I bought and just melt that hole out because I figured that'd be the best way to do it. So yeah, I'll set you guys up and throw it on time lapse and just cut that out real quick and see how it comes out. Alrighty, so I've got my AEM harness. It's looking horrible right now. I got my AEM harness run through this hole in the firewall and I've got it down. I've got my positive feed wire. We got my positive tapped in right here into my main uh, 12 volt key on power. So I've got that tapped in there. I've got it grounded out to 
I've got the ground to the harness where the old O2 sensor plugged in. So it's grounded out through there. And then uh, theoretically all I need to do, or I, you know, I already ran it, but I've got the white from the AEM going to the blue, which should be the input on the old harness. Obviously I'll clean all this up. Um, I'll trim everything and shorten it down, but I was just wanting to make sure it works and give myself enough room to mess around with it. So now all I theoretically have left to do is to put the L2 sensor in and I'm gonna run the wire next to the transmission up through the inner shift boot and then into the tombstone behind the gauge, this one. So yeah, I'm gonna get with that. It's really dark and I'm gonna jack up the car and climb under it so I'm probably not gonna record it, but I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alrighty, so I've got my new wideband down there installed. I got the wire running down next to the transmission. And that comes up through the shift boot right here, through this inner shift boot. It's nice and solid. I'll just loop all the wires back here and tuck them all in there behind the radio because uh, we have a lot of extra. But yeah, theoretically, it should be good now. So I guess we'll test and see. Um, I'll, I'm going to plug it in and we'll see if the, uh, see what the gauge does, I guess. Alrighty, so it's all plugged in, theoretically, let me get you guys a little bit higher up so you can see it, if I start it, Sweet, sweet. Looks like it's reading right, guys. Heck yeah. Now I'm gonna just put everything back together and tidy it all up. So just to do a short recap, I got my new AFR sensor, um, my wideband O2 sensor installed in the exhaust. The wire coming from it is running down the trans tunnel and up through the inner shift boot to the gauge that I have mounted in my tombstone. Um, this is the original plug for the original narrowband O2 sensor. I've got it tied in to my uh, AEM gauge. I've got the red wire from the AEM gauge going to my 12 volt key on power up under the steering column. It's the big blue wire. Uh, I just tested with a voltmeter and found it. I have the ground for my AEM gauge going to the ground uh, on the original plug. I just, there was a ground there, so I just crimp, crimped it in and it works. Um, and yeah, and then I've got my sensor running up through the inner shift boot. So, I fed the wires through the firewall. You can't see, I'm missing this little kick panel, but I fed them through the firewall and behind the console to the back of the gauge right there. Uh, I have working heat and AC, so I'm not going to put it in my vents, even though I wish I could. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty simple install. I hate wiring. I'm not great at wiring, so... It took me a lot longer than I expected, but we got it installed and I went into Tuner Studio, I went to Tools, I went to Calibrate AFR Sensor, and then I clicked and went to the AEM sensor that was listed and it is accurate, so it's reading the same on the gauge as it is on Tuner Studio. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. We'll see you in the next one, bye.